Hi, it's Rob from The Brush and Balcom. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint red brown leather. If you'd like to support the channel, our coffee and Patreon page is linked below. Now on to the video. So the first colour we're using on this is going to be Citadel Bane Blade Brown. And the Bane Blade Brown will give you a sort of very pale, kind of pallid brown to start off the base colour for this type of leather. That's going to be a kind of reddy brown colour if you watch the Kasagi Night Guards video you'll recognize this miniature because this is the footage taken from it it's always handy to have these little videos separate so if anyone's looking for a video on painting leather or another style of leather that they can paint they can find it without having to watch the whole video and scoot through all those sections to try and find out how it's done so you want to give a nice smooth coat of bane blade brown you might need two coats because it's quite a thin paint then we're going to wash the coat with Citadel Caroberg Crimson Shade. This gives it its initial red colour. And that hint of red will show through when you're adding all the other colours to it. So once you've finished, you've got this kind of quite nice reddy brown leather on the coat. Like so. So with the whole coat done, we're now going to use Citadel Contrast Gorgrunter Fur and give the whole of the coat a nice coat of this. The whole of the leather a nice coat of this to save that double coat. We'll give it a nice coat of the Gorgrunter Fur and that will give you that brown on top of the red but still give you that nice leathery colour to it. One thing I'll say for the contrast is they do help make some nice leather effects on stuff. Really impressed with them. So once the Gorgrunter fur is dry, you can see that quite nicely now. It's a nice leathery, browny red colour. We're now going to use Citadel Mournfang Brown. We're just going to do this on the raised areas and the crests of any creases and things like that and where any of those ridges and scuffs and things like that are. You don't need to do too much of this really because the contrast itself does take care of most of the brown on a miniature or on a coat. So you just want to be using this, not sparingly, but you don't want to be painting over all that contrast with the Mornfang brown. Just so long as you've got that nice deep contrast colour in the recesses and coming out of there. And then on the raised areas you can have that Mournfang brown where we're going to do some scuffs and things like that. So if you think about it as like maybe the first highlight, that is what you want to be putting the Mournfang brown on as. The Mournfang Brown done, you're now going to add a little bit of Citadel Rakarth Flesh to the Mournfang Brown just to lighten that up and then we're going to start doing the scuffing on it. So when you're doing the scuffing to leather you want to be going the opposite direction of the ridge that you're doing. So if it's got like a vertical edge to it you want to be doing horizontal strokes. If it's got a horizontal edge you want to be doing vertical strokes. This will give it that rough scuffed look so that it doesn't just look like straight lines being painted on to the edges of the leather.
can see now is taking on that scuffed leather look. Bit of a squeak from your heel on the chair there. But it does have that scraped and chafed look about it. Which is what we want to have. Now I'm going to use a little bit more of flesh and mix that with the previous mix. And just do one final highlight on these areas. You can see those edges looking rough. It's looking nicely scuffed. Now you can do if you want to do scrapes or like as a blade or something like that has gone across it. You can do straight lines using the same colours. So you start off with a little bit of Mornfang Brown in a straight line. Then you do the highlight on that and the highlight on that just to give it that rough look again. So you wouldn't do them all perfectly straight. You'd do them all slightly rough. Just to maintain that look of scuffed leather. like so. So this is the finished leather coat. As you can see you've got those nice dark sections where the Gorgrunt affair is pulled and you've got the lighter scuffs where we've painted on all those chafes and scrapes. Really happy with how that turned out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to all the social media linked below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel and you enjoy the content, please consider supporting us at our coffee or Patreon pages linked below. Thanks very much.